Sisi's reputation maintained during sentencing and restaking spreads to Solana. You're watching Coindesk Daily. I'm your host, Jen Sanasi. Finance co-founder and former CEO Changpeng Zhao, also known as CZ, was sentenced to a four-month prison sentence. Judge Richard Jones said he had spent the weekend poring over the more than 160 letters of support that were submitted by his friends, family, and colleagues. The judge, CZ, and even the prosecutors acknowledged during the almost three-hour sentencing that the 47-year-old billionaire was not your run-of-the-mill criminal defendant. Instead, it was said that he was a philanthropist do-gooder, and first-time lawbreaker. The former CEO pleaded guilty to violating the Bank Secrecy Act in November last year. According to a UK government report, crypto was one of the biggest money laundering risks in 2022 to 2023. The report said that crypto firms alongside retail banking, wholesale banking, and wealth management posed the greatest risk of being exploited for money laundering during the time period. The conclusion from the report came from the Financial Conduct Authority risk assessments on 238 firms. The FCA is the financial regulator in the UK, and it has been ensuring crypto firms register with it and comply with its money laundering rules since 2020. And restaking is spreading from Ethereum to Solana. A Coindesk investigation found that half a dozen teams are quietly building Solana restaking. This is opening up money-making opportunities for investors and luring in big platers like Gito. Gito Lab CEO Lucas Bruder told Coindesk, quote, there's a lot of hype around it right now. It's kind of like a gold rush. And quote, he declined to comment on his company's specific plans. This, while fearful naysayers fret that restaking is crypto's latest ticking time bomb, a rehypothecation of trust that will inevitably collapse. Ethereum and Solana are both proof-of-stake blockchains, meaning that their networks are secured by a decentralized community of operators, often called validators, who pledge or stake ETH or SOL, respectively, for financial reward. That's it for Coindesk Daily. Get more updates on Coindesk.com, and we'll see you next time.